Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Chart.js library to display charts inside uh, an Ionic 3 application. So let's get started. So to follow this uh, tutorial, you need to install a text editor of your choice. I am using Visual Studio Code. You can choose whatever you want. And uh, you need to install Node.js. And of course, you will be using the Ionic 3 framework. So let's get started. So here in my um, command prompt window, I'm going to navigate to the folder when I want to where I want to create my Ionic 3 project. So CD Ionic charts tutorial folder, and inside this folder, I am going to uh, create my pro Ionic 3 project. So to create an Ionic 3 project, you have to type the following the, uh, the this command. So Ionic start. And then you have to type the name of your project. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it um, um, chart ionic or ionic chart. Uh, and then after specifying the name of your project, you have to uh, specify the type or the template of the ionic project, ionic three project. So you can, uh, in my case, I'll be using the blank pro, uh, template because I don't want anything. Just I want, I want to have a blank project. Or you can specify, for example, if you want a tabs, for example, tabs project or whatever you want. But uh, in this tutorial, we'll be using just a blank template. So here I have to type blank, and make sure, of course. You have internet connection because this command will download the project the, the ionic project from uh, the internet as you can see here it's it prompts uh, downloading and extracting and then would you like to integrate your new app with Cordova to target native iOS and Android so no and then you have to wait uh, for a few minutes uh, for the um, for uh, for the download of your project, it depends of your uh, internet speed. So I will um, cut the video here until uh, the, the download of the project is done, is finished. Now, once the download is completed, see, you uh, you will be prompted to. Uh, install the ionic pro sdk so here you have to uh, type no and now everything is done so our uh, project is uh, successfully downloaded now we need to navigate to our project directory so cd and this is the um, the project folder that uh, that we just downloaded from the internet so cd chart ionic and now uh, i'm going to um, open visual studio code i'm going actually i'm going to, i'm going to open um, our ionic 3 project inside uh, visual studio code and to do that you only need to type code space point and hit enter and our project has been uh, opened inside um, Visual Studio Code. So this is our project structure. We have the app folder, assets, pages, the in, uh, index.html, the manifest.json, a blah, 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 etc. So now um, I'm going to open the uh, integrated terminal of uh, Visual Studio Code. So um, mm -mm, integrated terminal. And here I'm going to type a command that will run our uh, blank project to test if it's really working. So to run the Ionic 3 project, you have to type Ionic serve. And this will run, uh, will launch our um, Ionic 3 application in our browser, which is Google Chrome for this tutorial. So hit enter and wait for the application to, uh, to be uh, started. So oh, for it and forty two seconds. Okay. okay. Our application is started at this address, so localhost and the part eight thousand and one hundred. 
So this is, is our uh, Ionic blank application. I will hit F12 and change the layout. So this is our um, Ionic 3 blank application. Now, uh, since uh, our application is working correctly, we are going to add more uh, some packages that will allow us to display the, the uh, some um, uh, charts inside our Ionic 3 application. So I'm going to close the application and let's go back to the Visual Studio integrated terminal. Let's hit Control C to stop the application yes okay so now we are going to install uh, ng2 shorts uh, package so npm install ng2 dash charts dash dash save hit enter and wait for it to be installed It will take a while, just a minute or half of a minute. Uh, the first package was installed successfully. Now we need, we need to install another package. So we will type the same uh, command. So npm install. Uh, and the second package is chart. Well, I think it's charts dot js dash dash save and it will uh, start downloading the, the package like always there is an error I think I need to delete the, the s so short dot js Okay, I hope that it will be installed uh, quickly. I will cut the video again and wait for it to be installed. Okay, now uh, the second package was installed successfully. So the next step is we must go to the app folder, uh, app.module.ts file. Here we are going to import the new uh, a new module. So charts module from ng2 charts and we have to add this module to the imports array so head a comma here and paste the name of the module and save the file close this one and let's start writing some code so go to the pages folder here we have the, the default page that comes with a project template so go to, to the um, home.ts file which is our component so this is our component here we have the selector the template URL which reference the home.html so uh, this is our uh, class constructor so here we are going to create three properties uh, the first one uh, is the um, the first property represents an array of labels of the of the chart the second one is um, uh, an array that will contain the the uh, the data that will be displayed inside our uh, chart and the last one will contain a string that represents the, that the type of the chart that will be displayed inside our Ionic 3 application. So let's start writing some code. So public at chart labels and it will be a string of array. Uh, an array of strings sorry <laughs> it will be a string an array of strings 
Okay, this is the new string. So the first label will be me. The second one will be my self. And the last one will be Irene. The second uh, array, the second property, sorry, will be an array of numbers. So donut chart data. So this is the array that will hold the data of the of the chart that will be displayed. So of it will be an array of integers. So here I'm going to type uh, 1200 and 2000 for Irene. Okay, and the last property will be donut chart uh, type. So chart type and it will be of type string. it will be and we are finished uh, writing code inside our component now let's jump to the ohm dutch html file which is our uh, html file the view that will be displayed so i'm going to delete this one i'm going to read a new div style display block inside this div I'm going to create a new element canvas inside this canvas element I'm going to specify the property of our uh, uh, chart that we have already defined inside our home.ts file which is our component so the first one will be data here I'm going to, to copy and paste so data I'm going to give it this name there is an error here so angular cannot find Uh, so the error was that I forgot to type base chart here So the error is gone now data the second one is labels and You can guess what I am going to assign to it. So donut chart labels And finally we have chart type so you can guess so do not chart type and I think everything is done here I'm going now to build this application and I'm going to see if everything works fine. So Ionic build. The build process take a while, just a few seconds. And now I'm going to uh, to launch the, to start the application. So Ionic serve. And I think it, it should work. It should work because I think we did not make any error in our code. It must display the, the chart inside the application now. So let's see for the browser to start. Okay. There is an error. 
Okay, so the error was uh, the uh, semicolon that I added uh, after each line here. So you must remove those semicolon. I don't know why I even added those semicolons here. So after uh, deleting those semicolons, I go to the browser and as you can see here, the chart, the chart is displayed. I can change the layout and you can see here the chart uh, displayed with the labels, with the, each value here and uh, everything is working fine so this uh, was a tutorial about how to use chart.js library with ionic 3 framework i hope the, you liked this tutorial and uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, to encourage me to do more uh, tutorials and see you in the next tutorial bye